106. I'm sorry, Brother Bud. Kind of getting off kilter tonight, but we're still in the book of Psalms. We're going back to Psalm 106. We're going to be really short tonight with the uh, basically a devotion type thing. It's not going to be real long um, because uh, no, uh, listen, we have a lot to be thankful for. And so uh, uh, we're going to talk uh, just a little bit and then go right into our prayer time because uh, I think uh, we need to thank God. And so I think we as a church need to set some time tonight aside and do that. And uh, you can do that after we do, we'll do that after we uh, do our request and whatnot and we separate. And, uh, but I myself, I was just in, thought about that today. I'm like, I don't want to spend a lot of time in uh, teaching and preaching tonight, but I want to give you just a little bit and remind us a little bit about some things and uh, then get right into our prayer time. And so, because we know prayer changes the heart of God. Amen. And so, uh, Psalm 106, look at verse number 1. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth, endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord, who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. So uh, let's pray. Father, as we are to the, the, the teaching and preaching part of the service, Father, I ask once again, Lord, that you would empty me of myself. Father, that you cleanse me of my sin and that you would fill me, Lord, with thine Holy Spirit, that I may preach, Lord, as we teach these small uh, verses this evening, that I may preach, thus saith the word of the Lord. Father, thank you for the time that we have together tonight. Lord, I ask that you'd have your will in your way tonight, for it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. No title to it because, uh, like I said, I just want to spend some time. If you want to put a title, give thanks uh, or giving thanks. Um, verse number one I want us to look at is this, have faith in God's mercy. Amen. Have faith in God's mercy. I know God is merciful. As I told you, leading up to what uh, the election yesterday, that I've been praying and asking God on Wednesday nights, and we, uh, especially on Wednesday nights, but other times also, uh, that as we go through our prayer list, that God would have mercy on our nation. Um, and so I have faith in God's mercy, and I want to encourage you to have faith in God's mercy. God is always merciful. It, uh, it, this, that, listen, you, he's, if, if we were just to look at our old life, we would understand that God is merciful. Every single day. Um, let, let us think of the condition we could be in if God would not have been merciful to us. I, I really don't want to think about what kind of life I would have if God wasn't merciful to me. I, would, I wouldn't have my family, my wife. I, 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 there's no telling what I would, where I would be, what I'd be doing. I'd probably be an alcoholic or a drug addict or... Uh, something, I would be in depravity, uh, living in depravity for sure, but, uh, you know, God is merciful. Praise ye, o, uh, praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and for his mercy endureth forever. Listen, we cannot begin to fully describe all that God has done for us. We, we can't. I mean, I mean, let's just be honest with it. Uh, you know, uh, we can't describe it. We can try to put words. We can go to the dictionary and the thesaurus and try to eloquate, you know, put a sentence together or even a song or a hymn together and try to describe how uh, grateful we can be to God or uh, uh, to describe the blessings. You know, we sing, name your blessings, and, uh, name them one by one. We can't do that. It's a, great, it's a good song. We ought to be able to try to name our blessings, but we can't name them one by one. It's, it's too hard. Or at least for this piece of his brain, it's too hard for myself. And so, listen, we, it's hard. Even the psalmist has hard time to describe it. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Even the psalmist himself cannot describe uh, the goodness or the, uh, how good God has been to him. Uh, listen, God's mercy is his choice. He says, I will have mercy upon whom I have mercy on who he will. So, listen, 
uh, his mercy is his choice. I'm thankful he chooses to love me. I'm, cho- I'm thankful he chooses to love his creation. And so uh, too often, listen, l- l- can we also be honest, too often we take his mercy for granted. When we sin, all if I, it, it we'll just do 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our, of our, uh, unrighte- all of our, our sins and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousnesses. We, we claim 1 John 1, 9, and we just, t- and I'm going to be honest, I have taken that for granted. Well, Lord, you're faithful, your word, you put your word above your own name, and so I claim 1 John 1, 9. Too often we take our mercy, his mercy, for granted. I myself have taken his mercy for granted. And I need to remind myself that I can't take his mercy for granted. Because, listen, when I start taking his mercy for granted, it can lead to sinful liberty. It will lead to sinful liberty. Oh, well, it's under the blood. I can't, no, I, yes, I have liberty, but not to sin. What liberty I have? I have liberty not to sin, right? I'm saved by the blood. I have uh, Jesus inside me. He resides inside of me. So, listen, I, I don't want to take his mercy for granted, and too often we as humans, as believers, may do that. His blessings to us were, are too many to count, as I said. And so, I, as you know, I, I've, I've listened, listen, I've, you know, you can look on social media, you know, uh, uh, that, you know, I try to get my news, not from television, but other places, and from what happened last night, everybody's hooting and hollering, and I've had a lot of preachers say, you know, showing that, yes, God has had mercy on us, and, and we ought to be thankful, and yes, and, and, I'm thankful for what happened last night. I am. That's what I, I was praying for God to have mercy. And I believe he had mercy on us. And so I think tonight as we go into our prayer time, we've been praying for this. Let's thank him for it. Whether you agree with it or not, I believe we should. Whether you agree that, well, you're bringing too much, whatever it may be. I believe God showed us mercy last night. And so I think we, ought, as, as believers, ought to be go to God. And You might say, well, thank God it happened. I said thank God today, but I, I didn't want to, I, I was kind of casual. I want to enter his gates with thanksgiving. I want to come to his throne with, pray, uh, with thanksgiving and praise. And, that, and I, want to, I, I want to nail it down because I've been working all day. And getting home, getting a shower, getting ready to come over here, and then coming over here. I haven't had a good time since I learned what happened to really take the time to do that. I want us as a church, maybe you've done that today, that's fine, that's great. But I think we as a church can do that tonight, and I want us to do that tonight because he's merciful. And we ought to be thankful for his mercy. Because David, in many psalms, says, give thanks. I was going through them today, this afternoon, of, of all the verses in psalms that David says, to give thanks. And I, and I was thinking today, as I'm getting ready to go up to Oklahoma to be part of a uh, the... Uh, Service for a friend of mine, he, he's, uh, and I'm sitting there thinking, and I, we've been in the book of Psalms for almost two years now, or, we, or two years, or al- two years, we have, or have almost, I have learned to tr- that I can trust God. And because I can trust him, because he has shown himself faithful, not only in his scriptures, but as a personal testimony, I can give thanks. So, as we go to the Lord in our prayer time tonight, I want to encourage you to spend some time thanking the Lord for the mercy He has shown, that I believe He has shown our nation. You may not think so, 
That's fine. We can still, we can still fellowship. None of it, not all of us are the same and think the same things. So let, let's, as in a moment, I'm going to pray here, and we all have our t- time of invitation, but as we separate tonight, let God know that you're thankful. Don't be, don't be casual about it. Just say, thanks, God, I appreciate it. No, no. Come with thanksgiving. Because he is to be praised for what he has done. And so, Father, as we conclude.